Hello and welcome to another one of our CCTV how-to videos. Today's video will discuss and show you the setup procedure for the privacy mask features on the systems that we sell. Now what the privacy mask really is for is, say you've got a, a camera set up at your house, sometimes you get a bit overspill. You know, so, sometimes it's very difficult to keep it just in your own property. So the privacy mask feature you can blank out sections so if it overspills into a wee bit of your neighbour's garden and they're not very happy about it or you're not happy about it you can chop that section out so it's not recording it and also not viewing that 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 specific part so on this picture that we're looking at just now you should see a, a unit here on the right hand side with two light on it so there's the front door obviously so what we'll do is say they weren't happy that it was looking there we can actually chop out that section of the picture and still see the rest. So to set that up, what you do is you log into your machine and you go up to see where it says camera. So you click on that and down on the left hand side you should see privacy mask. Now working your way from the top here, use the drop down box and these will be your cameras listed. So let's just I know it's the side of our focal camera. So what I'll do is I'll zoom you in in a second actually. Always remember to enable it first. See what it says enable. Okay. And I'll zoom you in and get you a better picture. Just bear with me because we're set up for a wide angle shot at this point. I'll try and get you in as best I can. Roughly about there. So, what you do, using the mouse, you just create a box. So just click it, and you just drag it to where you want. Move it up. Okay, so that's you created your box. Now you can do this for four areas. So you could actually go draw another one. They can all be different shapes. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Just remember to click apply as well at the bottom. I'll just clear that just now and we'll just go back to our original demonstration which is blanking out the unit down at the bottom there. Okay, so I'll zoom you back out. Just about there, just bear with me. Okay. So once your area is blanked out, make sure your enable tick is in the box, click apply down the very bottom. Now going back to your live view. So there you have it. So you've blanked out that unit. I've obviously not pulled it right along to the corner there, but it's just a demonstration to give you an idea of what you can and can't do. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you find it helpful and maybe see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.